hi guys today we are going to see 10 most useful and important things that you should do after installing ubuntu 10.10 uh, 10 or uh, ubuntu 10.04 to make it more usable and to make yourself able to do what you do on windows and mac uh, like uh, adding a dock uh, in the bottom of the screen on mac so let's start by uh, first uh, doing let me see wait a minute while installing ubuntu uh, you would have uh, come in front of these uh, uh, options like here download updates while installing and install this part the third party software uh, check these if you can uh, if you haven't installed it already or if you're planning to install it again then you should check it uh, and you should be connected to the internet um, it will be very useful uh, in the future uh, this was the first uh, very important thing that you do it because it includes uh, good features um, to that will that will be very useful in the future next uh, thing you should do is open up your terminal and update uh, click sorry type sudo apt dash get update type your password and it will get all the packages and all the uh, resources uh, for your uh, softwares for your applications that you might want in the future uh, it will not install it just get the information get the uh, uh, Web website from where it has to take those pa take those packages and uh, that's it J uh, just let it finish to 100% okay now when it's complete type uh, ap uh, you have to type sudo then apt dash get upgrade type yes and again it will take some time to install it will update and upgrade all the uh, applications that you have installed um, it will update all the applications if they were outdated like it will update mozilla firefox or these very important uh, nice office uh, applications mm, it's done so next uh, you should do third is uh, to make your uh, computer more fast you will need a driver for your according to your uh, hardware you may have an intel graphics card you may have an nvidia graphics card or any graphic graphics card you have uh, to check uh, for the perfect proprietary driver go to the settings Wait a minute. and then go to software updates and on the additional drivers if you have any if uh, um, there is perfect driver for your uh, uh, graphics card available on the uh, from the ubuntu it will be uh, it will be listed here so like i have nvidia graphics card but i am not using it because uh, i'm X, because this uh, x.org x server something like that is more nice uh, than nvidia graphics uh, driver so I'm good with the, the default uh, driver and after uh, cho uh, choosing what you want to select uh, which driver you want to select click on restart and it will be fast then next you should install Java for doing that go to the Ubuntu software center type here JDK 
bullshit. Type here J D K and uh, download the latest version. At this time, the latest version is uh, uh, Java JDK 8 update 40. So here is open JDK 8 JDK. I have already installed it. So I will. Uh, it, it will be very helpful if you install it. I will suggest you to install the latest version, like here. Then, fifth is uh, install install a uh, Mac like doc, like I have done here. It, it's very beautiful. It's make your make your make your Ubuntu complete. here you can see uh, it's very uh, it's looking very great and for doing that go to the Ubuntu software center type Kero doc here it is and install it but uh, before installing it uh, you will need to have an updated package and which I have told earlier go to the uh, terminal and type sudo apt apt dash uh, get install update and then it will be shown here to install uh, shown here to install otherwise it will not be shown so just install it and you will have these and you can configure it you can get whatever theme you want like here is a list of themes here it is it has Mac OS X um, just select whatever theme you want to take and click here for apply then i will suggest the i will suggest to install tor next thing that you have to, you should do is install tor here it is install it for a safe browsing so that no one can track you i haven't uh, installed it earlier but now i'm doing it so wait for after installing Tor, uh, next thing you should try is the FileZilla and you can do so by well FileZilla FileZilla is a uh, server or uh, you can use it to you, you can use it as a server and uh, I think I, ha I have heard that it is very useful if you are a programmer or developer and everyone installs it and I'm a programmer and I use it in, uh, while doing PHP so or if for installing it is also used as a cloud so uh, go to the term to install it go to the terminal and type sudo apt dash get install filezilla dash ftp uh, space client uh, then it will ask you for your password and it will install you i have already installed it so it, it, uh, i don't need it so uh, if you uh, need a cloud uh, except the except those already available in the internet like dropbox or uh, from the microsoft or my uh, windows uh, Windows or Microsoft are seeing uh, from the Google Dropbox and uh, from the Microsoft you can use it uh, to as a alternative uh, cloud uh, FileZilla is very good though then uh, after the ninth uh, good feature will be recording a screen like I'm doing now 
so for doing it for recording your screen if you want to for making videos uh, if you want to show something to your friends or upload something on your YouTube account so uh, on the Ubuntu Software Center search for uh, record my desktop and then click on install it will ask your password and that's done and after recording a screen uh, it has been found that Ubuntu uh, gives a very low sound if you uh, if you are playing some music or uh, seeing some movie without some headphone so to fix it you have to go to terminal uh, type wait a minute it's some also mixer type here you will get this window where then uh, type f6 to select the sound card and choose the appropriate sound card and uh, increase the uh, speakers to the full volume let me increase it and don't increase the mic uh, otherwise it will be uh, it will give you very bad quality and increase your internal uh, to the full volume and type escape and then type sudo alsa ctl dash store type your uh, password here and click enter it will store your all the settings okay these were 10 things uh, that will make your computer like mine you can do whatever you want and if you want to install NetBeans for doing Java or C++ anything I have uploaded a, uh, another video for teaching how to install NetBeans IDE 8.0.2 this one and configuration for C and C++ which is very dif difficult if you are doing on Windows or any other operating system but it's quite simple on Ubuntu so check out that check out that video also please like and subscribe for mo more video videos